Hey everybody, how you doing? Just got back from a uh, bike ride. The uh, dog hadn't been out for a walk or ride or anything in, in months now since he hurt his leg, or his leg was hurt. Um, so he's been getting around a little bit better. He's still limping, but uh, I took him for a ride around the block. We just went real slow, and uh, I filmed him trying to trying to run. He's hopping on his hopping on three legs pretty much. But he uh, he figured it out so he could he wasn't uh, using that other leg too much. But uh, we're still never gonna be able to go on runs like we used to. Um, even if he has this surgery um, where we get him the leg brace, uh, it's not it won't be won't be the same. He's broken forever. So um, but yeah, so I dropped him off at home. Oh yeah, my eyes aren't looking very good today. I've been not getting very good sleep. Uh, dropped him off at home and went and did, uh, I don't know, probably about four miles, something like that, on my bike. Just out all the way around the, uh, there's a golf course over here, all the way around the golf course, all the way around and back. And uh, felt good when I got home. Felt better. Um, one of the reasons I haven't been sleeping well, you know, I might be getting some kind of outside influence that's uh, not letting me sleep. But, uh, and it's weird because I feel like I'm sleeping okay. I'm not being woken up repeti repetitively, you know, I'll go to bed and then I'll, I'll wake up in the morning. But um, for some reason it feels like I, I didn't sleep, sleep well. Anyway, um, the plea deal that was offered to me for this uh, charge that was given to me was for two years probation and I'll be a felon the rest of my life. And keep in mind this whole thing was a setup and the other person actually is guilty of a hate crime. So if I were to beat this, I could go after that person. Uh, legally, I don't know if that would be in criminal court or civil court. I'm not sure. But, I mean, the guy called me a f faggot and pulled a gun out of his window. And I have, I have it on video. So, I'm in a dilemma right now because they offered me this plea deal, and uh, I said no. I'm going to fight this. I have, you know, I have enough evidence to fight this. And I re I'm realizing how the court system works. It's long and drawn out. They just in this spot, Shane. I think the lighting is bad. Anyway, um, it's it's long, long drawn out process, and. Um, they set the dates pretty far apart, so you have time to research things or think about going to jail or, you know, just let everything marinate. Um, sorry, I'm looking at myself on the, uh, on the camera here. My nose looks weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking rough these days. Anyway. It's a, it's a long, drawn-out process. So they told me that was my last chance to, to make a decision to have a plea deal. Either that or I'm going to a trial. And I was like, all right, let's go. Let's, let's go to the trial. Sign the paperwork. And uh, I've been preparing for trial, writing out basically my life story, writing the um, personal instances that have uh, taken place in my life that have uh, that are gang stalking organized harassment situations and uh, getting documents together affidavits uh, government websites government patents everything I would need to take to court 
and um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that I could show that, that these people, the, uh, I guess he would be called the plaintiff, um, were conspiring against me. I, I have, I really feel like I could do, do well in court if I was treated fairly in court, if they would acknowledge that this kind of thing exists, if it wasn't still classified, if it was uncovered in the FISA documents that I always talk about, I know it has something to do with that in there. The, um, so, I guess long story short, they've offered me the plea deal again. So, two years of probation, when the probation is over, um, it will become a misdemeanor. So now, considering, uh, because if I am found guilty of this somehow, which um, they could work their magic and just, be, you know, I've seen people go to jail for less or worst turnouts. Um, but if I'm convicted, I could go to prison for 5 to 15 years. So if they screw me over and convict me of that, when I fight it, I'm going to jail for 5 years, prison, 5 years minimum, and then up to 15. So now I'm considering taking this uh, plea deal, which I'll be on probation. I'll be a felon for like two years. And when that's over, uh, they'll go to misdemeanors. And I'm not sure what the misdemeanors will be. But uh, um, I see how this whole system works. You know, I know that I'm innocent. I'm, I have good evidence. I I've written so much of what's going on and but going through all that all writing all this stuff and seeing how many times that I've been thrown under the bus. You know, if it happens this time then I just go away and I can't take care of my my kids. My I mean, my son's an adult, but you know, we're we're like a team here. If I go away, this whole all, all, whole thing goes away. So I'm almost thinking of one, thinking of uh, just taking one for the team and accepting this plea deal and be on probation for two years. Then I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Never had to go through anything like this. So, uh, I know it's not something a lot of people want to talk about, but if you want to let me know, you know, what it's like to be on felony probation, like what, uh, what I need to prepare for if I do ex accept this, uh, yeah, just trying to think about the uh, the long term if I go to prison everything is finished here there's no chance really to keep the business going or keep the kids keep my daughter in school so I think I might be possibly about to Plead guilty to something I didn't do in order to guarantee that I stay out of prison, even though I didn't do this. The possibility is five to fifteen years. I mean, shit, look at me now. 
Think of what I'd look like when I got out of prison. You know. So. So that's part of the reason I, I got yeah I got that information a couple of days ago. So. And I have to spend another thirty six hundred dollars to five thousand dollars. That that that's it. That's a. I'm gonna have to borrow some of that. That's part of this whole process. Even if you do get out of whatever situation they've set you up and you've spent all your money defending yourself. You know, you need money to survive. You, uh, I won't explain that whole part right now. It's another video. I should get going. I'm kind of I'm, I'm a little bummed out about this whole thing because I don't know what the hell to do. Whoa, Willis, you alright, buddy? What do you see? Cell reflection. I'm gonna go get to work. Hope y'all have a good day.